Well, good morning, NFC. Here you are again, looking at my mug. Sorry about that. But uh, we want to continue to just give you constant updates about what's going on with the whole COVID thing. You're going to have an email with all this information as well. But we thought, hey, why do we put this on video? And uh, as we mentioned the other day, council met Wednesday night and uh, laid out a bit of a plan for the next while. And this plan obviously is going to be continuing along the way. But wanted to keep you up updated on a few things. So here we are. First one this Sunday morning. We will have a pre-recorded sermon, maybe a couple other things involved in that as well, uh, that will be available uh, through Facebook and YouTube at 10 o'clock in the morning. You might want to watch it with a friend, you might want to just watch it at home and perhaps with a other group of people Skype together afterwards to pray with each other, however you want to do that in a way of making sure that we're social distancing well and keeping safe. And then we will continue to let you know about upcoming Sunday mornings. And one way you might be able to help with that is uh, you'll be hearing about this is subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can work on on enhancing the, the series for or the services for future Sundays. Another thing we talked about was identifying needs that people might have, especially if you can't get out during this time. And uh, the three specific needs we talked about, one was the need for getting groceries, going shopping and dropping it back off, medication, pickup and delivery, uh, and then technical support for those who perhaps uh, need some help understanding how to hook up to the internet and these different social media avenues that we have in order to stay connected. So. Uh, if you are in that boat and you need that, make sure you're letting us as a church know. And then, of course, yeah, on the flip side of that, another need we saw was responding to these needs. So if you've got time where you're saying, man, I could go out and pick up groceries for somebody, pick up some medication. Uh, I could go help someone set up their computer and help them to understand how they can connect with all of us via computer. That would be really good. So let us know, flow those into the church office, and, um, and that way we can keep helping each other out in that way. Helping us stay connected. If you know people that, that are attending regularly at NSC, consider this to be their church, but they're not on the email list, maybe you could let us know that or get those people to contact us so that we can make sure that we stay in touch with everybody. Uh, I want to encourage you during this time as well to live with the gospel in mind. Really believe there are tremendous opportunities during this time to really practically be able to help in, you know, the church as we've talked about, but how about in the neighborhoods where we find ourselves living? So to our email, we even attached an idea from Elijah Elkins, which was displayed in the Gospel Coalition, entitled, A Practical Way to Love Your Self-Isolated Neighbor. Just a little paper that you can hand out on doorsteps or into mailboxes in your neighborhood in a way of letting people know that you want to be able to help them. Or you might want to simply send them a text message asking how you can pray for them during this time. Or maybe take time to pray at home that this would open up gospel conversations leading to where our hope is during this time. A.W. Tozer apparently once said, A frightened world needs a fearless church. We've got a great opportunity right now. We want to know that we're praying for you. As council, we'll be meeting again on Saturday morning early to be praying for us as a church, particularly around this whole situation. So if there's particular ways as we're a little more cut off right now that we could be praying for you, uh, email al at nassaustreetchurch.com and let us know how we as your leadership can be praying for you. If you need any ideas as you're quarantined during this time as an individual or as a family unit, there's probably a lot of articles. We've also attached another one by Courtney Riesig uh, that was on Gospel Coalition that I read early this morning in our email and just gives you some ideas of how to use this time wisely uh, while we're a little more isolated and quarantined. That's it for now, church. And uh, as I leave you again this morning, I want to leave you with the words found of Jesus found in the Gospel of John chapter 14, where Jesus in this loving manner is comforting his disciples just before he's getting ready to leave. And he says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Don't let your heart be troubled or fearful. Encouraging words from Jesus our Lord to a church uh, that might in a times where it feels a little bit unsettled right now. Have a good day, Annecy, and uh, until we check in again, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.